Short sale information with a difficult Wells Fargo short sale. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, let's talk about our, our recent Wells Fargo short sale battle. Yeah, I say battle because that's exactly what it was. Wells Fargo short sales are known to be tough. It's not that the it's not the negotiations are tough, but it's the level of detail required for approval. It, it's it's like un loan under underwriting in reverse. It, it's that crazy. Every I must be dotted, every T must be crossed. Everything has to be actually perfect before you get past that gatekeeper, who is the processor, that passes the file on to the decision maker. Now, in this case, we had already done the battle once. It took us 60, 63 days, which is way above our average but we had secured the Wells Fargo short sale approval letter. We were in contract, but the deal just wasn't going like it should have. There was an underlying, almost passive aggressive relationship between us and the buyer's agent and the buyers. Inspections were delayed, the appraisal wasn't late, the appraisal was late, the buyers switched lenders more than once without telling us, and the BS hairs on the back of my neck started going woo 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 woo. Ultimately, we issued a notice to perform and as we thought the buyers canceled. Why they just couldn't have told us before, I don't know. Before we wasted all that time, of course. Hey, but within three days we had a new buyer at the exact same sales price and the exact same net to Wells Fargo and their investor as the previous offer. Now, you would think that the, with the same sales price and the same net, we'd be able to swap out those names pretty quick and move on to close that Wells Fargo short sale. Oh no. That'd be too way, way too easy. We were actually required to start at the very, very beginning. We even escalated the file and were shot down. In fact, we had to battle the negotiator and ultimately escalate again to get the, to get the Wells Fargo approval. The negotiator, our new negotiator, on the second time actually declined our file even though none of the information had changed. That, that's crazy. It had already been approved. It was truly a battle of the wits with an unarmed person. Because we don't take for not, no for an answer, as you know, and we knew the deal was right for all involved, we stuck with it. The crazy part of it was the Wells Fargo short sale approval to change the names, to change the names out actually took longer than the original Wells Fargo short sale approval. That's nuts. In the end, we persevered and were able to keep another family from losing their home to foreclosure. They are now renting a nicer house, as a house that is as nice or nicer than what they had at half of what they were making their payments for. Two to three years from now, they'll be buying a house just as good. So, is a short sale right for you? Give me a call, let's talk about your specific situation. And to get a better idea of when your homes will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info and you'll get an uh, instant email to give you that information or give me a call. If you've got questions, call me anytime, I'd love to talk to you. Call me today. You'll sleep better tonight. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.